Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have another really old style mousetrap to show you. I recreated this from a book that was written in 1590 by Mescal that makes this mousetrap design over 427 years old. People have been asking about the book, so I'll list the title there. You notice it's really long and he spells words differently. In that book, he describes different traps for various sized animals, wolves, vultures, polecats, and smaller animals. I've been recreating the ones for mice and rats. This is number 10. There's 12 total, so I have two more to go. He calls this a square trap. It's a deadfall style. It's one of the more easier ones to build in his book. It consists of two plates. We have a square piece on the bottom and the top that are the same size. A post with a hole drilled through those boards. The post is connected to a toggle here on a string and a trigger stick. The mouse comes along, steps on that trigger, releases it, and the top board comes down. So when you build this, these need to be the same size. The top board needs to be heavier because that provides the weight. And then when you lift this up, you'll see that trigger it has a hole in back that connects to that post and there's a notch in front. You just pull this toggle forward, wrap it around, and the mechanics of it is it wants to push forward. So you have a little notch in the bottom of the trigger, put it like that, holds it in place. It's pretty sensitive. The idea is the mouse will come along, go in there to get that bait, step on that trigger, and we got them. Now I am concerned this top board isn't heavy enough. You need a pretty big trap in order to guarantee it will be a quick humane kill. So I'm gonna add a few blocks on this to test it out with wild mice in our barn. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can get some mice in the skull square deadfall trap. We set up Muscal Square deadfall trap in the barn and it's down. We got a mouse. I was actually really surprised. This never happened to me before, but I was setting up a mouse trap and mice actually came in the dark and ran to get the bait before I was even done setting it up. So they were eager to get in there. I've been putting sunflower seeds in that spot so they're used to coming and feeding when they hear me. And it's a great way to catch wild mice is to set up a feeding station. That way when you set up the trap you can get them. I'm glad I added these extra blocks as weight because when I reviewed the motion camera footage, there was actually two mice under their feeding when it went off. One of them was able to squeeze out the gap, the other took the force of the trap, and uh, there he is. So this trigger system does work. It's not as sensitive as I'd like. I think I can tweak it and make some adjustments. But overall, the square deadfall trap's a good design for being over 427 years old.